It's a very good afternoon here in Zimbabwe's capital, Harare. Welcome to ZTN News Blitz. Let's take a look at our top stories. Zimbabwe's Mbana Msika reopened. Social distancing ignored. Traffic volumes in Zimbabwe increase on lockdown day 8. WHO says Africa will not be testing ground for COVID-19 vaccine. And in sport, Redknapp believes Mesut Ozil doesn't fit in Liverpool squad. Farmers from most of Zimbabwe's provinces swarm Mbare market today to help sell their agricultural produce. Mbare is the capital Harare's biggest and busiest market for agricultural produce. It closed recently as the country went under a 21-day total lockdown. The decision to reopen the market is meant to ensure continuous supplies of vegetables. ZTN correspondent Takuchi Hambakwe is at the market to assess the situation. This morning, Baram Sika officially opened its gates to farmers and traders who produce fresh farm produce. Whilst farmers and traders are flooding this place, there is a concern that they are highlighting that their produce is going bad. A number of them had to sell most of their produce three times less the price they were selling for before the lockdown was pronounced. However, what we've also noticed here is that there is no social distancing being observed this place could be a ticking time bomb as the hygiene levels are very very low there's a lot of waste substance outside the complex and within the complex one other factor that we've noted from the farmers and the traders that we managed to speak to is the issue of accessibility to the marketplace police officers and city council police are not allowing people to leave their homes to come through so in as much as the marketplace has been opened, there is no one who buy the produce. So these are some of the issues that we've picked here at Mbari um, Musika Fresh Food Market, where trading has begun this morning after the president's pronouncement to say that let the traders continue with their business. Back to you guys in the studio. ZTN spoke to one of the farmers at the market. Then on the other end, we have to down. But present, we have farmers, we have to the so the same farmers we decided to so go around about changing the team of the new chan. So we subdivided ourselves. Sit down five, 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 the closure of bars and nightclubs due to the coronavirus pandemic has forced some Zimbabweans to seek alternative spots to drink their favorite alcoholic beverages and mingle with friends. Shippians and house parties are now popular in Wulawayo, Gwanda, Bite Bridge and some parts of Harare during the 21-day national, lo 21 national lockdown meant to curtail the spread of COVID-19. This is despite warnings that such gatherings at these new drinking spots may predispose the spread of COVID-19. Police in Bulawayo have warned the public against such activities. Bulawayo police spokesperson Inspector Abidniko Nube spoke to the TN. Uh, we are worried about members of the public who continue selling liquor in their house, operating champions against this national lockdown. And as I speak, I am from going around in the area and we have heavily deployed in those areas. So people are going to be arrested and the law is going to take its course. We strongly warn members of the public against selling along the roads, in the houses and in some of the bogus stores where people do consumption of alcohol in those areas, which is against the law and against all the statutory instruments that are aimed at fighting COVID-19. So people, please be warned. Let us keep in doors as directed by His Excellency. It's day eight of Zimbabwe's lockdown and people are now gathering the courage to roam the streets for reasons best known to themselves. Under the lockdown's guidelines, a group of individuals and organizations were rightly termed as essential services. 
but there is no one whose essential service was to be on the streets. ZTN correspondent Samantha Rosare is on the streets and she gives us more. Last week on Monday, when the 21-day lockdown started, Harare CBD resembled a deserted town. We noticed that most uh, parking lots were empty and the roads were quite clear. It, there was a deadly, si deadly silence in the usually bustling city. Now today is uh, day eight of the lockdown and we've noticed that human traffic in the CBD has increased. We've also noticed that parking lots are actually being occupied more. Last week as well, the police were moving around with a hailer, encouraging everyone who had no business in town to go back home. And sometimes this encouragement would actually get physical. However, this week we haven't seen any hailer from the police in the CBD. And it shows that people are actually being complacent in the fight against COVID-19. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has spent the night in intensive care at a central London hospital after his coronavirus symptoms worsened. Downing Street said he was moved to the unit on the advice of his medical team and was receiving excellent care. Mr. Johnson has asked Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab to deputise where necessary. A spokesman added, The Prime Minister, aged 55, was admitted to St. Thomas's Hospital with persistent symptoms on Sunday evening. World Health Organization Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus has condemned as racist comments by two French doctors who suggested a vaccine for the coronavirus could be tested in Africa. The doctors' remarks during a TV debate sparked outrage and they were accused of treating Africans like human guinea pigs. One of them later issued an apology. When asked about the doctor's suggestion during the WHO's coronavirus briefing, Dr. Tedros became visibly angry calling it a hangover from the colonial mentality. To be honest, I was so appalled. And it was um, a time when I said, when we needed solidarity, this kind of racist remarks actually would not help. It goes against the solidarity. Africa cannot and will not be a testing ground for any vaccine. We will follow all the rules to test any vaccine or therapeutics all over the world using exactly the same rule. Whether it's in Europe, Africa, or wherever, we will use the same protocol, and if there is a need to be tested elsewhere, to treat human beings the same way, equally. And the hangover from a colonial mentality has to stop. We move now to sports where Jamie Redknapp does not think Arsenal midfielder Mesut Ozil would get into Liverpool's squad. Speaking to Sky Sports, he said, The thing about Liverpool's midfield is that you cannot be a passenger. Whoever plays in the midfield, if you don't run the length of the field and push and press, you're not going to play. Not because he's not skillful enough, but I'm on about every single game when you've got to go and win the ball back. Mauritius have called off the rest of the football season due to COVID-19, but Burundi's Football Federation has said it is going to carry on. Burundi said they consulted the country's health minister and introduced a number of measures to try and keep the players safe. Players have been told that they cannot celebrate in groups if one of them scores a goal. They have also been instructed to wash their hands before a match and not shake hands with the referee or other players. There are only three rounds of games remaining in the current season. Three people in Burundi have tested positive for coronavirus. And in golf, the Open Championship has been cancelled, but 2020's three other men's majors have been rescheduled. The Open was due to take place in July. The Masters has been postponed to November, while the U.S. PGA Championship is slated for August. The U.S. Open is being moved from June to September, a week before the Ryder Cup. And that's all from us on ZTN News Blitz. Follow us for more news on ztn.co.zw and our other social media pages. Thanks for watching.